There are three primary banishing rituals we use in high magic. There is the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram, the banishing ritual of the hexagram, and the rose cross ritual. Each of these are highly effective, and I am going to tell you why you would perform each of them. And I'm gonna share with you some examples of when I actually perform these, why I perform them, and what happens. First, we have the Lesser Banishing Ritual of the Pentagram, also known as the LBRP. You can perform this one daily, even two or three times a day. It is the foundational ritual for purifying and balancing the energies within you. So your fire element, your passions, um, your water element would be like your emotions. Uh, and then of course we have earth element, which is like your, your health and your well-being and your energy level. And then your air element, which is the mental body. It actually helps to purify and to uh, balance out those four elements, those four energy bodies within you. And um, it helps you to uh, go about your day in a more positive way with a higher frequency. And it can also purify the space um, around you. So it can, you can do like a ritual in a room and like do the LBRP all the way around the room. Um, you can also create a, a magical circle where you're gonna perform uh, maybe a ritual or a magical spell or a meditation. Um, it will help to kind of purify the area and balance out the energies, raise the vibration up. Because like I said in some of my other videos, like when I, I have the one video called um, the LBRP Explained, I go in that video about, you know, why you would do this. Um, because it, uh, some people, and I've seen some people kind of say, um, oh, it just like completely like evaporates everything in the area. Um, it, it just gets rid of everything and not necessarily. It's actually a banishing ritual, but also any ritual is going to also invoke energy. Um, so it is a light invoking ritual. You can also do the lesser banishing or lesser invoking ritual of the pentagram, which is a totally different one. We're talking about banishing rituals today. So I'm not gonna go into the lerp. So the LBRP, it clears your aura and it actually invokes more prana or more chi or more light energy, life force energy into you, into your energy body. It also stills the mind or quiets the mind and it can also quiet down the emotions. With this one, the first time I experienced it, I, I'm a martial artist. And so I thought it was like kind of doing a form, <laughs> what we call a form in martial arts. I, I did Taekwondo primarily. And so I was just like, oh yeah, whatever, I'll do this form. Um, I performed it and I didn't think anything would happen, but it actually changed my mood. It switched up my frequency, my mood went up, I felt better, I felt more light energy, I started attracting better things to me, people started treating me different. Um, so that is what a lot of people experience when they start performing the LBRP. Again, it's clearing out your own aura, balancing out your own energy bodies, and it's helping you to be more balanced. And so you attract better things, you're in a better mood, your mind isn't so crazy. Um, so it's very helpful for um, creating a nice atmosphere for meditation and just kind of uh, setting your day in a more positive light. So LBRP, essential, do it as much as you want, it won't hurt you. If you'd like to watch my demonstration, I have a demonstration of the LBRP. And I also have a video on LBRP Explained and I have a guide if you'd like to download it so that that way you can use my guide when you do the LBRP. All right, so let's look at the next banishing ritual. The banishing ritual of the hexagram, also known as the BRH, uh, this one is performed after the LBRP. So make sure you get really good at the LBRP uh, before you do the BRH and you'll wanna perform the LBRP right before you actually do the BRH each time because the LBRP is balancing out your aura and your own elemental energies. Whereas the BRH is balancing your planetary or astrological energies, which is macrocosm. You have LBRP, which is microcosm, and you have BRH, which is macrocosm. So it's a little bit bigger, a little bit more invoking, and highly energetic. The BRH is a more expansive banishing ritual, okay? So if you start feeling really emotional, 
um, you feel your energies are too high after performing this, you need to step back and just perform LBRP for a while. You should be performing LBRP for a couple of weeks at least, if not a couple of months, before performing the BRH. Um, this is getting into planetary work. So if you are going to banish, um, you start with the east, right? We always start in the east with the banishing, and you're going to be banishing the fire element in the east. Um, so people get confused and they go, wait, you're doing it wrong because you know you're supposed to <laughs> you're supposed to do air first, right? Um, no, in this one, you're actually doing um, planetary work. So think about the astrological zodiac. You start with Aries, fire, right? So that is actually what you're working with first. And then when you turn to the south, you are then working with the next thing. It's, it's um, earth, right? So you're going Aries, Capricorn, which is earth. And then you'll be uh, working on the next one, which is, right? air, which is Libra, and finally water, which is Cancer. If you look at a zodiac wheel, that's what it looks like. All right, so you're going to perform the BRH as a planetary type of um, clearing. And so this one is, is more expansive. It's a little bit different than the LBRP. Make sure, again, you're doing the LBRP before the BRH. So whenever I perform the BRH, um, you're using hexagrams, which are, um, these are like, these are the six pointed stars, the um, sun energy. This is very high energy. So with the BRH, you're gonna feel a lot of energy during the day. Whenever I perform this, when I feel really good, you feel high frequency. It's very much more invoking than the LBRP. It's much more expansive energy. So it's just a nice banishing ritual to do before rituals, to do before meditation, and just to kind of have a better day. So if you perform LBRP and then BRH, you're gonna feel really good. I have a video here on YouTube on the Banishing Ritual of the Hexagram where you can watch me perform it and where I introduce it more a little with a, maybe a little more depth. Uh, check that out if you do, if you are interested in the Banishing Ritual of the Hexagram and maybe just seeing what it is or performing it yourself or seeing how somebody else performs it. Because traditions do have, uh, you'll notice there's a little bit of difference with different practitioners and different traditions. So you can watch my video right here. Finally, we have the Rose Cross Ritual. This is a Venusian ritual. It's a ritual of power and protection. It's much more quiet than the LBRP or the BRH even. It's much more meditative. It's wonderful for creating a meditative sacred space. Some traditions even practice the Rose Cross instead of the LBRP. It's like their primary ritual that they do daily before they do other things. Now the Rose Cross is much more complicated to learn than the LBRP. I say much more, but it's, it just takes a little time to get used to, but it's highly effective. This ritual is worked at the heart center level of the Tree of Life, also called to breath. Uh, it represents beauty, harmony, balance, and love, and the heart chakra. It's very Manusian, it's very beautiful, and it creates a beautiful, quiet atmosphere. When you perform this ritual, you are actually impregnating the atmosphere with your own higher self, with higher frequencies. And so this is invoking and merging with your higher self. Um, this is what this ritual represents. It represents a uh, symbol of you um, merging physically with your higher self and, and bringing that higher self and that higher frequency level into your space. And so that's why it's a banishing ritual. It actually impregnates with your own energy, with your own spiritual energy. And so it clears that energy and it's highly effective. So it really creates a, um, a very wonderful area for um, doing meditation, doing healing work. Um, and also a big thing with Rose Cross, um, you can actually banish out negative energies out of your home that you maybe had a hard time getting rid of with just the LBRP. So if you have um, some energies in your house that you need to banish out, I would suggest LBRP, BRH, and then Rose Cross. Do all three of them. Rose Cross will be the most effective for getting rid of the energies, actually. Um, because again, you're bringing up the energies with your own, bringing in your own higher frequencies. It's very powerful and it's very protective. If you want to clear an item or a home, I suggest doing all three of these rituals.
And if you would like to learn these rituals step by step with me, I teach them in the Magical Mystery School, my membership program for light workers and people that are into energy magic, high magic, and um, spiritual awakening. Uh, so check us out on brandyjoy.com, and I will see you in the next video.